guys, I can't believe coming back with a brand new NASCAR E3 video, guys. And today, I have found two tracks that you could actually cut the track at in NASCAR E3. But as usual, before we get started, let me give a shout out to my donators and my members. Cleveland Ethan, Melski Sharks Gaming, Baseball Guy 01. And also shout out to my donators, Levi Jones, Kyle Larson, 42 fan, Nathan CSX75, Gooky, and Andrew McIntyre. Links to their channels will be in the description below. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. So today I was able to find two tracks that you actually cut the track at. So we're going to take Paul Menard's car to the roll vault because there is a way to cut the track now i'm just letting you guys know i'm making this video because you know you guys already know how crazy it does get in multiplayer and you know it's just something cool i guess you guys could do they probably will patch this stuff up most likely but there are two tracks that you could cut the track at and the first one will be the charlotte roval so let's go right now Okay guys, so for this first glitch, what you're going to do is we're going to be at the Charlotte Roll, and you're kind of going to go to try to go down pit road without actually, you know, getting a course penalty or trying to slow it down. So what you're pretty much going to do is you're going to try to go down pit road. If I were you guys, try to have stability help on and it works way better if you're doing it on a road course. And this does work for multiplayer because I have done it a bunch of times and I have made up positions doing this. But the thing is you have to be really pretty much perfect because if you're not perfect, it's really going to just screw it up. And you probably might even lose time. So this is kind of like pretty much I would say this is a risk you're taking. So what you're going to do is you're going to angle the car high coming out of turn 4 of the oval. What you're going to do is you're going to try to slow it down. Try to avoid any cars. And you're just going to go down pit road like this. Now this is the hardest part. You can either angle it out and not go down pit road anymore. And pretty much do the full like this part right here. As you see how much time we've actually made up. Or you guys can just simply go onto the oval part or try to go back on the oval through the grass. I feel like this right here is the best idea. Now, I don't know what the actual, like, I don't know if it's on 105 right now or not. I totally forgot to check if it's on 105 ratings, like, hardness. But that's all I know is that you can make up a bunch of time if you just do it correctly and do not screw up. Yes, I have done this before in multiplayer and actually tried it out and it does work perfectly. Now, there's another way you guys could do this and I don't know if you guys want to do this because if you do it the way I just did, there's actually a risk factor of wrecking and you'll actually lose time if you do wreck trying to get off a of pit road. Now, the other way is, and I feel like you might either make up, uh, you might make up more time because I have made up more time, but not as much time as I did the regular way. So, what you're pretty much going to do is you're going to do the same exact thing Except the only difference is instead of going down pit road, you're going to cut it right back through the grass. Now, I seriously don't know how much time you could actually make up by doing this. You see, you do the same thing right here. You try to find the perfect angle. You're going to try to come back out on the track right here. And you're going to slow it down and pretty much just make up that time without trying to go through the actual roval part. So that is pretty much, I guess, say they cut the track glitch for the roval. I don't know if they'll cut that, but... All I know, I'm mean, at patch this, but I do know is that you can make up time, including in multiplayer. I have already tried it and done it. It does work. Now, let's go to the second track. So, for this next cut, the track list, this probably works the best for a multiplayer. We're going to go to Jefferson Speedway, and as most of you guys actually probably know, there is guardrails around the track, and you can actually slip between the guardrails and avoid all the chaos that's actually going on on the track because I've already raced at Jefferson on my streams and going on the regular track is just mayhem it's like horrible like you need all state you need all the other stuff but this will help out dramatically including if you're doing the dirt series at Jefferson for multiplayer I'm just gonna start the race just to show you guys how effective this is. I believe I am starting in last or somebody got moved to the back that I didn't check. No, I'm starting in last place. So as you guys can see, we're just gonna go normally. Everyone's just driving as normal. This is nothing like obviously multiplayer because you already know how they drive in multiplayer. They drive crazy. But as you guys can see down here, first guardrail, go down here, scoot in between it, come out, and you come back out on the track. This could work for multiple like, you could go on the other guardrail down there too, but I just certainly believe that you'll probably actually lose time 
That's my only thing about not going the ga that guardrail. But there are other guardrails around this track that actually help. Because you guys already know, in multiplayer, this is a huge bad area right here for Jefferson. But you could just scoot in between here. Avoid all the mayhem that will happen because you already know multiplayer like they just like to wreck everyone You'll make up a bunch of time there including at Jefferson Speedway So that's some place that you can make up a bunch of time and that there probably is other parts of the track that have it But as you guys can see come off this part right here and everything else is just normal You can make up seriously a bunch of time by avoiding wrecks at Jefferson Speedway by going through the guardrails all the way at the bottom so that is something that is Actually, I'm happy that's in this game because if there was no guardrails there, one, we'll all probably just be ducking in there anyways. And to be honest, it's actually not that easy to do. I they feel like I made it look easy, but when you're a multiplayer, you're trying to go like pedal to the metal and you're not trying to like let off. I was letting off there just so I could get in there easier. But like if you don't let off, you're definitely make up a bunch of time as you guys can see. I'm probably not going to let off here. As you guys can see, I let off. The only bad part is, is that if you hit that right there, that, that could actually slow you up. And I'm actually looking for the first time at the Dirt Series damage model. So that's the only bad thing is, is that if you just don't angle these cars right, including for the Roval, you can really screw yourself up and screw yourself out of having a good race if you do this. So yes, you can actually get karma for not doing the actual track correctly. But you guys see, you can come in through there real quick. If, but this is like if you race super aggressive. So that's another pretty much... Um, cut the track glitch to be honest would I recommend this one yes I would including if you're racing with a bunch of drivers and you start in the back you would make up a bunch of time because people are going to wreck and pretty much just clog up turn one in those other parts of the track so that is all I have for this video guys so thank you guys all for watching you guys are new smack that sub button we are uploading daily NASCAR heat 3 videos right now for the week so this whole week we should have daily NASCAR heat 3 videos where I'm going to try my best to do that if you guys are new smack that sub button leave a like if you did enjoy this video and comment down below your opinions about NASCAR heat 3 and your opinions about this video and this channel so thank you guys all for watching if now see you guys in my next live stream or in my next NASCAR heat 3 video I'll see you guys later IDK out I gave you everything Held you close by the stormy seas Oh, you